The T3 TV March Madness Tournament was a movie one things for certain we are living in some crazy times have you ever seen a fourth grader with tattoos? My boy been watching those John Moran highlights he hits a three in points. One at the crowd. Both of these third grade teams have gone crazy viral over the last month the team in yellow triple threat walked away with the dove but it was very entertaining sixth grader mckinley edwards jr dominates the paint he can't stop me and he wasn't lying this kid went off all weekend and he flew in all the way from california colton clevenger may have had the play of the weekend check out this pass here it is from another angle he had the crowd going crazy sixth grade new went home with the championship fourth grader terry t3 hole put on a show this weekend this kid is a straight up ankle bully he stays making kids touch earth third grader case and anger has skills beyond his years in third grade i was just trying to get a left-handed layup down this kid does a little bit of everything be on the lookout for him class of 2032. This girl went crazy this weekend. Playing with the boys did not face her. One bit. Aaron Thomas is a prospect to watch in. The 2028 class. Cody Raider aka Baby Steve Nash went. Crazy this weekend. He just keeps getting better. But when you get better you have a few. Haters. This coach was going back and forth. He continues to argue after Cody says. I'm actually 12. Coach had Cody's back. On this one. I don't know what's more legendary Falco. Prophet's name or his game. He is a prospect to look out for in the. 2029 class. And people are saying he signed up for. The courtside films June camp. This kid had an ankle breaker and a. Four point play. That's tough. Music. 7th grader Austin Sears was back at. It one of the most elite scores I have. Ever seen at this age his ability to. Score at all three levels is really. Astonishing and the confidence is crazy. 2. LaShawn Hill had the full bag on display. This weekend. He can do a little bit of everything. His IQ is what really sets him apart. It's going to be great to watch the 2028. Prospect continue to develop. Fourth grader LaShawn Lyle was too. Shifty out there they call him Papa the. Defenders had a hard time gardening and. I had a hard time filming him he was. Cooking me too. Speaking of being cooked Darius Hawkins. May have the best handles in all of. Middle school the double behind the back. Was just dirty he has a ball on a string. And he's so hard to stay in front of. Oh, but he can shoot too. And he's a lefty. There are bad calls and then there are. Right calls I can't believe you try to. Argue this one. Shonda's Bubba Donald is just one of. Those guys that will give you buckets it. Will be halfway through the game and he. Gave you a cool 20. I just love the way. He plays. This was my first time seeing him in action and I can ensure you that it will not be the last. When I think of under the radar prospects I think of Lincoln Cosby. His pace on the floor is incredible. He knows how to get to his spot. And his jumper is tough to contest. Because it's at a high release point. Be on the lookout for him speaking of. Jumper's seventh grader Caitlin Brooks is one of the best shooters in the country. He plays in the same backcourt as Austin Sears and they are an absolute tandem to watch together. Just look at how deep he's shooting some of those. Another guy to be on the lookout for is Sean Foster he plays alongside Lincoln, Cosby and a couple of the Mercer brothers. This kid is special he's already going for light bodies in 8th grade if he can start dunking like that and to put with his skill set is going to be scary. Now you almost need to overturn this. Call the way my man argued it. Look at his face. 
It looks like when I find out somebody's not subscribed to us, but he was a good sport about it. He was the one that appeared earlier in the video where him and his team captured the third grade championship seventh grader Cameron. Mercer plays up with no problem. He dominates the eighth grade division every time I've seen him over the last couple years. He's gotten taller and taller. His potential is through the roof. He plays on the same team as his brother Jalen. Mercer now this kid is a dominating. Present it's hard to get anything by him. He has a dominating presence in the paint. Him and new 2029 secured the ship this past weekend Jaden Davis is a multi-sport athlete and you can tell by his physicality. And one ref. I've been covering this team at T3 TV. Events for a couple years now if these kids stay together, it is going to be a sight to see next we have Dallas Stewart, who plays alongside Jaden and Colton. Clevenger this kid is special some. People have him ranked as high as number. One in the 2029 class. Someone else on that team that deserves. Recognition is William Piegler Jr. He can do it all out there and being used whole. Team knows that they can rely on him for some big shots. Now there's other talent on that team, but the last guy I'm gonna mention is none other than Andrew Wallesty. He is the glue piece. This kid was hilarious for this three. He hits it. Look at the celebration. Applause. Music. Fifth grader Mason Broyles is next up. He comes from a basketball family. And it shows. He's skilled beyond his years. That Euro was nasty. There's a lot of great guards from Ohio. But I think he's going to be one of the. Next. It will be exciting to see his. Development over the next six or seven. Years. Last but not least we have third grader. Zion Lancaster now you may remember him. From the video that went viral with Case. And anger, but this kid is making a name. For himself. He's a bully in the paint. He led his team to the championship where they came. Up short, but I will bet you they will be. Back. If you like our channel, please subscribe. Like and comment.